welcome to more video game content here on yeah. the channel. Uh, yeah, I didn't... We know you guys loved that five years <laughs> well, ago. Well, they, what's fun, it's so funny because if you go back and read comments on any video where we tried to promote Zion Mainframe Gaming. Yep, I remember them. Jesus, <laughs> it, was like, it was like I killed their firstborn. And now it's like, Matt, more video game content, please. Yeah. Like, how the whole industry has shifted. Y'all didn't want it. No, you don't have it, and you want I, it back. I think I know why, though, uh, overall. It's because uh, <laughs> YouTubers were seen as, like, lazy and kind of, like, above everybody back then. Yeah. But now, after <clears throat> years and years of demonetization and YouTube just being a big old, because like, back asshole. Then, like, people weren't making a living... Yeah, well, they, well, they were. Yeah, that's true too. It wasn't. Twitch it, it, it wasn't like as accepted. I think it's more though that even Twitch people now it's kind of accepted. Like just getting donations and that kind of thing is totally accepted. And Patreon yeah. is more than accepted. Whereas before, if you did a Patreon, like I remember we did our Patreon video announcing it, and I lost. No lie, a lot. I think we lost like three hundred yeah, subs in one like, day. Like everybody pay, just left. Pay. But now it's. I think people realize that like you know I make an okay living. But, like, I'm not some rich pile of garbage. I'm not, like, Jake Paul or yeah, anything yeah, like yeah. that. You know, like, I work a, basically like a full-time job. But they see us as being the, the people that are being shit on by corporate corporations and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's just a cool little <clears throat> thing. But uh, we are going to be posting video game content just on Reckless Eating. For a while, I was going to be thinking about bringing back Zion Mainframe Gaming. But I was kind of like, everybody comes here. Like, we're not going to do a ton of gaming content, so we're just going to post it on here. And it yeah. seemed to have gotten a good re uh, reaction when I did the Morrowind uh, review. So, either way, uh, we're going to be going ahead, myself and uh, Majestic Beard, we're going to be doing our top 10 favorite games of all time. And this will be really interesting, because I do think that on Zion Mainframe, me and Tom still have our top 10 up from years back. Yeah. So it'll be cool to see, like, how it's changed. Mm -hmm. um, we do have honorable mentions, both of us, because <laughs> there were so many... It's hard to, like, tell these games yeah, no. Because, like, I hear somebody mention one game, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I forgot that yeah. one. Uh, and I'm sure I've forgotten one. I'm sure this list will be invalid. Yeah, in this will time. change for me in a week. Uh, but I have uh, <laughs> five honorable mentions that I almost have, made I the list. Three. So, uh, my honorable mentions, you'll see the pictures as we go. Uh, Wizorb is an awesome little game. It's one of those, like, paddle games where you're destroying the blocks, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's more, like, RPG and you're trying to kill enemies and upgrade. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm going to try to link as many of these games if they're on, like, Steam or anything like that down below. Uh, Plague Tale Innocence, that almost made it. <clears throat> that almost got into my 10 slot. That was the closest one. A fantastic game of a brother and sister escaping a plague and, like, an invasion from a foreign army. It's great. Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. That's my favorite Far Cry game still. It's, like, as far as the gameplay, it's very simple, but the yeah. atmosphere is what makes up it was, for it. It was interesting. And they had the dude that was in Terminator uh, Terminator 1, the guy that won against Arnold, Michael, oh, whatever, yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. in uh, Aliens as well. Yeah. Uh, as the main guy. Then, uh, this one uh, almost made it as two, almost two. Doom 2016 was incredible. I love it. I'm, I'm not as big on Doom Eternal. I think halfway through the game, they jump the shark and lose the, the, the point. But Doom 2016 is a perfect experience. I loved it. Rogue Legacy almost made it as well. Uh, just an awesome uh, rogue light where you're invading a castle and every time you die, your your son or your heir comes in to like try to take over the castle too. Mm -hmm. They just released the second one. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, those are my honorable mentions. What do you got? Uh, so my honorable mentions, we have Apex Legends. Oh, yo, no, I should have, damn it! See, I told you. All right, hold on, hold on. Wait. Another honorable mention. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. <laughs> I totally forgot about Apex. Hey, it's, yeah. it's in my top ten for sure. Yeah, yeah. so Apex, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Um, just because I played that for like almost five years straight. I just can't now because I've lost the touch. Mm -hmm. And then uh, <clears throat> the only Final Fantasy game I ever really liked was Final Fantasy VIII. Mm. It's like the first game I played that was like kind of open world a little bit. Like certain areas were. Um, the only one I ever played was ten. I loved it. Yeah, I tried some of them, but yeah, mm -hmm. it was the only one I can get into, and I played it obsessively. So, those are mine, my uh, honorable mentions. Damn, poor Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I even have a tattoo of that motherfucker. You know, Apex. Uh, yeah. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go from 10 up. Uh, I'll do my first, my number 10. Yeah, I would say it's Apex. 100% it's Apex. Uh, and I know people are gonna say, you know, you haven't been playing it for it's, that long. It's not just the game, it's the, I it's love the it. experience. I love everything about it. I love playing with my, my buddies and just the overall experience of playing Apex. Um, yeah. I'm 100% going to get an Apex tattoo at some point. I, I don't know to, who yeah. it is. I was thinking about getting Lifeline. I already know what I'm going to get. But yeah, I, I want to say it because somebody's going to get it. Oh, there you go. All right, what's your number 10? 10 for me, and I know this is going to be higher up for you, but Binding of Isaac. Yeah. Just, it's 
literally infinitely replayable. Oh yeah. It's, it's more of a meditation. Every time. You can just pick it up and play it for like 15 minutes. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. And they're uh, and they're just they I keep making it. DLC for it. He keeps saying uh, uh, Edwin or whatever. I can't remember mm -hmm. his name. But he, they keep saying like I'm done. I'm not gonna do it. And then they yeah, keep they're, outsourcing they're, other they people to make more yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah so they, they they tease it. Yeah. There's another huge DLC coming out. They're saying it's the mm -hmm. last one, but they've said that three times. But they're saying this is the last last one. Yeah. 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 So who knows? Uh, my number nine, Spelunky. I love Spelunky. Uh, it is a incredibly fun game. It's actually a remake of an older version from the same guy he made the game. It was like a, I don't know, it was like a DOS or a, or a Flash game or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried playing that version. I hated it. But the newer version that was that came out. The main reason is it's a fun game. But there's a reason why I think that this became like my go-to for so long. The daily challenges it gets people on your yeah, Steam yeah. friends list thing. Uh, for Zion Mainframe, uh, man, I posted one of those videos every day for like a year and a half. <clears throat> like, I was constantly in battle with other people. Yeah. Uh, number nine for me is Half-Life 2. Mm -hmm. um, classic. Arguably, like, the, be the best, like, first-person shooter ever made. I think of all time, yeah. Yeah. Um, they just did everything right, like it wasn't open world. Like, it was open world, but it was linear at the same... Like, it felt yeah. like it was open world. They gave you the, the feeling like yeah. it was open world, but it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, then just the... Uh, the story, the gameplay, everything was just pretty much perfect on it. Yeah. I think so. that I specifically like uh, the Metro series because of Half-Life. Because they're almost it's definitely exactly the same. influenced, yeah. Uh, my number eight, Perfect Dark. I love Perfect Dark. Uh, GoldenEye was gr good. But Perfect Dark was a was like GoldenEye on steroids. Perfect Dark yeah. upgraded uh, like the the actual multiplayer. Now they're not playable the, anymore these days. The graphics on the N sixty four are so bad. I mean they're almost impossible to go back to in most aspects. But Perfect Dark, I loved. One of my favorite experiences of all time was having uh, Tom come over and uh, and our old friend Rebel. And like basically hunkering down the three of us doing a three on one versus one of the uh, bots. Yeah. Turning the bot up to a hundred percent hardest, yeah, yeah, yeah. we would run into like a like one door, like you'd have one door, this little building. You'd put up your auto turrets, and you would just try to survive. And mm -hmm. it's oh, it's so much fun. Like that yeah. guy would, you just run and wreck you. You'd be dead instantly. Yeah, that was fun. Really good stuff. Eight is for me. So I, I cheated a little bit. And I did some franchises just because yeah. there's so many, and I couldn't pick just one. But Hitman. Okay. Um, I remember starting playing them on like the PS2 way back when they were like super difficult but um and then yeah the the newest ones are great yeah just so many ways to get to your targets and it's it's almost another game with almost infinite replayability but because you can kind of choose if you want to be stealthy or if you want to be a dick bag yeah like you like can just go in and wipe out everybody on the map watch northern um, lion play it and it was real fun watching yeah play it's that. a real good time if you like like stealth games uh, number seven for me is, uh, it almost got lower on the list, but I did put enough time into this, and it, it is my favorite wrestling game of all time. Uh, WWF No Mercy. Uh, there's, I mean, what else can be said? It's one of the last classic wrestling games before, uh, some of the SmackDown <clears throat> games are good, too. Uh, but I still feel like everything went downhill hill once, like, the N64 era ended, because... Yeah. Once 2K got their fucking claws they into it, oh, they just ruined the entire experience. Yeah. Uh, but No Mercy was just a classic. The only negatives on it was they took out full entrances. That's it. Mm -hmm. Like, you could walk to the ring and then you would stop. But yeah. I remember I that great. the ones I played were like Attitude and I yeah. think it was Warzone. Warzone and Attitude, uh, WCW, NWO, World Tour, and, the uh, first and Revenge. The first the Smackdown Smacks. was pretty good. Yeah, the, the couple of the Smackdowns were good. They started getting monotonous towards the end, but that was when like they had to release one every year. Yeah. That's when they always, it always gets ruined. The yearly releases kill the uh, What is your number seven? Uh, so seven for me is The Sims, another cheat. But yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, Sims... Even like from the first one back, it has like the most nostalgic soundtrack. Oh yeah, like, you can just yeah, you can just listen to it doing anything, yeah. and then even the new ones are pretty good. They got four got a little questionable on some parts, but I've heard now that it's complete, it's great. But like the it fact is, that they released it in portions it's, and it's not it's like still connected lacking. World. Like the world, the yeah. worlds are. So the one good thing about it is that all the like you can go from one world to another, like to travel. Yeah, you're not your stuck to like one of them. Yeah. But the world, the maps are just tiny. Yeah. The Sims 3, they were massive. They corporified it, I feel. Yeah, a little bit. They just want to get keep getting 
I just always kill killed. Scenes. I always just killed my guys. I would just get infinite yeah. money and kill them. Same with Roller Coaster yeah. Tycoon. I mm-hmm. would just I would just build an awesome park and then just fucking devastate. Another that should have been an honorable mention for me. Roller Coaster was pretty good. I put Sims and Roller Coaster Tycoon in the same the same camp. They were like the first PC games I ever played. Yeah, I, I got a PC specifically because I begged my parents because I wanted oh. to play mm-hmm. The Sims so badly. Uh, number six for me. This one is a surprise for some people because a lot of people probably don't know what it is. Uh, and if you don't, you know, obviously check the links down below <clears throat> and buy this thing on Steam and support them. This is called Death State. Uh, I played this game quite a bit on stream uh, for a while when it first came out. It's in unique. It's it's similar in the vein of Isaac, except that uh, you don't do the shooting. Like, you don't manually do shooting. It's just when something gets close to you, you automatically shoot at the, the thing. I don't know they call it, like a twin stick not shooter. But it's yeah, yeah. really, really fun. Again, it's an indie game, no, not a lot of people even know about it. I still play it every once in a while if I need like a break from Isaac for kind of like my quiet time. I feel like I heard of that like once. It's really, <laughs> really phenomenal. And I actually, did, let's, what's ironic is a lot of these games were either uh, brought to my attention by or made popular to me by one person, and we both love him, mm. fucking Northern Lion. Because yeah. Northern Lion just did a let like a one-shot on this. They gave him the key and he tried it. And so it looked cool, so now I played it, and now it's, it's I easily like one of my favorites. I feel like he's very honest about his opinions. Yeah, because he's, he'll shit on something, no problem. Mm-hmm. He, has no, he, doesn't, he has such a wide base, but yeah. yeah, check out Death State, it's awesome. Yeah. What's your number six? So six for me, World of Warcraft. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I sunk, at this point, probably 15 years of my life into it. And I walk by sometimes, and you're still playing. I know, I, I do. <laughs> I, I still go through, and I'll do, like, an old dungeon or an old yeah. raid or something. I still kill time on it, but yeah. Just so much, so much time and money spent into that game. I lost multiple friendships. Oh yeah, I lost a relationship. Game. Three tat, three World of Warcraft tattoos, mm-hmm. horde yeah. tattoo, and a couple of specific ones. But yeah, yeah I, I still, it's, I still have a yeah. fond place in my heart for it. I can get why though. People hate watching us play it. <laughs> it's it's, it's so not honest. super fun to watch. It's, it's more about listening exciting. to us as a group. I think but it's the banter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number five for me is my favorite Fallout game of the entire series, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, it's one of the few that I go back to. I would go back to three, but it's impossible on PC. Uh, it just never quite no, works right. The, the one thing that three is missing is you can't aim down sights. You can only kind of zoom in with someone. Oh, I didn't Unless know that. It's, it's been that sniper. long since I played it. Only okay. a sniper has the scope. You have I to like, not mod it. That. It's, you know, uh, it's Fallout New Vegas, though, is just a classic. Uh, I, it does have a lot of bugs and problems, but it has the best story out of the bunch. I also love that every time I play, I do the same thing. I go grab Boone as soon as possible. Uh, just so so good. Every time that I play that game, I've beaten it now three times. Uh, it's and another game that I forgot to... Oh, so yeah, it's New so Vegas good. should have been an honorable mention. It's so good. So yeah, New Vegas, fantastic. Uh, 4 was good though, too. I, I do want to go back and play 4 at some point, but it's such a fucking chore. Like, New Vegas, you can yeah. be done in like a couple streams with 4 Like, 4, it, they nailed the gameplay. Like, the gunplay was, all, like, perfect, and yeah. it just wasn't a good follow game. It felt more like they wanted to Minecraft it up a little bit, and I'm not big on they the They focus building. way too much on the building. It yeah. was fun, but it shouldn't be... I, no. wanna, I want the story in follow, yeah. follow game, and I don't want to Minecraft. What is your follow. five? Number five is, and I know this is going to be higher for you as well, but Morrowind. Mm-hmm. I actually expected this would have been higher on my list, but I took into consideration how how well they held up, and Morrowind did not hold up very well. It doesn't like hold up right at all. Now. No, not at all. Um, I think even Oblivion holds up better, and I hate Oblivion. Like, yeah. most, a lot of Elder Scrolls it's people are divisive Morrowind on that one, because everybody runs like this. And it's also, if you no know the tricks, capture. like, you, every time I would get up in Morrowind, you immediately go to, like, the, the, the wizard that falls to his death, yeah, take boots, his stuff, get the boots. run over, there's a place where I could get this hammer that would give you more, like, yeah. it was, like, more carry weight, like, it, yeah. you'd always just, you'd find a it's, way to yeah, cheat it's God. the same, it's, but, yeah, just, that playing through it so when it came out was, it was phenomenal. Good, yeah. The modding is, that's the first time I got modding, into the modding yeah. community, was Yeah, that's Morrowind. the first game I ever did mods for. So many and, things. Uh, I've talked about it before, obviously we have the video up, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 but Morrowind was just, that's what got me into, like, big old open world games, too. Uh, number four for me, so now we're just going to start repeating some stuff, because we have similar tastes, but number four for me mm-hmm. um, was higher on the list before. This used to be my number three, now it's number four. Uh, world of Warcraft, for sure. Um, I just, I really enjoy World of Warcraft. It still is enjoyable. It's... Yeah. It's just a fun time to hang out with your friends and uh, casually ignore all of your loved ones as they uh, yep. as they tell you you have a problem. Welcome you know, I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Yeah. Uh, what is your number four? Uh, four for me, and this is just recent 
that I got into these, but uh, Dark Souls. Okay, yeah, I can't. I, I, I only got into it with the remaster because I watched Dan play through yeah, it. Yeah, Dan Giesling. I tried playing through it on the 360, and I rage quit at the second boss. Oh yeah. But then, like watching Dan play, play through it, I'm like, if he could do it, I can. Yeah, it's true because Dan's not like great. He's not bad or anything, but he's not great either. If he's, he can, he's, he's gonna make it he, work. He's like an uh, an average. He's due diligent. Average. Like yeah. he won't give up, which is what I love about yeah. Dan. Yeah, yeah, because I always liked the setting of it, but I could never like get yeah. playing through. I like watching. But after that. Um, one and three specifically, two was kind of a stinker. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there you go, Dark Souls. Right. Uh, my number three is Half-Life 2. <clears throat> it actually bumped uh, World of Warcraft down, and the reason being is because I think that uh, this is the one, when we're done playing World of Warcraft uh, on our streams, uh, twitch.tv slash reckless eating for gaming goodness, uh, I'm never going to play it ever again. I'm done. Like that's I'll probably it. check out the new expansion because they, they October 26th, I think they said. Yeah, maybe, but I mean, like once this cycle of WoW oh, is done, yeah, I'm I completely. I don't care if they come yeah, out with new DLCs out. in a couple of years. Or whatever. I'm 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 over it. Like I, I got my fill. Oh. Number three. <laughs> yeah, nice the old public. Oh, dude, Amazing. that would that would have been an honorable mention because it, it would be close to making it. But I remember mm, those are great. All right, yeah, just like one of the best RPGs ever made. Um, Doth Revan. The best Star Wars storyline since oh, the old trilogy. They should have, instead of the new movies they made, they should have made that. They, they really should have. They should have done Republic. something in the past. Because it were was the about first time series. you ever saw into a different era. Oh, yeah. Besides, and it like, was interesting. Books. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. And then, I, I'm still not going to spoil it if you haven't played it, because you should. Huge, um, huge but yeah, the twist story at the end is of the first one. Easily one of the best stories in any media yeah. ever. It's fantastic. I, I don't know why they went with this, like... Cu cu cookie cutter paste version of the original trilogy when they had yeah. this that like a lot of the fans like and it would translate well to film. It's like if you just like took that and hit like slightly copy. Yeah, and that's why I think Lucas's uh, trilogy is actually like starting to be liked more because he knew how to write a story. Well, it's, he had like a coherent plot. They're not the writing within. The they're plot. not good though, but they're but they're different. They're not just the first trilogy redone, and this new one was just the yeah, first trilogy redone. That's, yeah, that's exactly. So what you was. gotta give him credit on that at least. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my number two, Elder Scrolls uh, Morrowind. So I've already went into that in detail, uh, but I just, it's just, it was, it was definitely uh, another game where I lost uh, relationships as <laughs> I played it a lot. Mm -hmm. What's your number two? Number two for me is Mass Effect. Oh, I never played it. <laughs> Such a good one. That's one that you need to play. Okay, um, never played it. Yeah, just perfect up until the end of three. Yeah, I heard three, they blew it. Um, but yeah, the gameplay, the story, the, the voiceovers, the graphics. Everything what about 4? What did you think about 4? Uh, Andromeda? Yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah, I know. A lot of people like hated it. it. It's they... just, I didn't care about any of the characters. Like, yeah. the first one, like, within the first hour, you 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 get, like, a feeling for the characters. The mm -hmm. Andromeda, I, I can't remember a single character. It looked like shit, too. I remember, I saw a video where they did a side-by-side -side of, like, it was, like, 1 and Andromeda, mm -hmm. and it was like, yeah, wow, well, when your they, first game looked better really than They really fucked up the faces at first. Yeah. They did patch it eventually. Um, too late. I will <laughs> give it another try eventually, but... Yeah, yeah, just when I played it, I didn't like Andromeda, but... Uh, number one time, it's pretty obvious. I, I, Isaac's my all-time favorite game, uh, The Binding of Isaac. I, I have, uh, we did the math, I have three and a half months playing it. So, and it's a I rogue... Like, I think I have like 500 hours or it's something. It's a rogue light, too, which means uh, no run really goes past, unless it's a really bad run, no run really goes past an hour. So you should do the math oh, on yeah, that one. Like, 45 minutes. It's later. just it's just incredible. <coughs> um, I'm actually that's the next tattoo I'm getting for sure. I'm gonna get uh, death uh, death uh, Isaac tattoo. But like it is it's just so relaxing. I I equate it not to really being much of a like it's not really the fact that it's a good video game which it is. It's just my it's like my meditation. Like if I like most people will sit there and just do their zen. I just zone out and play Isaac. Yeah, and you just, just relax. You can just fuck off. Oh, it's play. it's just fantastic. Uh, uh, my yours? number one, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, another I one I never played. never played. Yeah, yeah, never played it. I remember getting the demo discs in the mail for oh, the original I PlayStation. Yeah, I miss those. And yeah, everybody played the the Metal Gear demo and yeah, the whole trilogy up until the last one. The last one wasn't gameplay wise, it was really good, like mechanically, but the story the story kind of died out with four. I guess they. I don't. Maybe it's wrong or not, but there was a rumor that they're trying to bring bring him back. David Hayter. Uh, yeah. Whoever whoever made whoever no. Whoever oh, Kojima. Made it, Kojima. Like they're trying to work it out, but like I think. I mean, if they manage to do it, that'd be awesome. Told, I think he's just gonna tell him to fuck off. But I, uh, I don't blame him. Dude, that is that brings me back yeah. though. Like getting because I got Electronic Gaming Monthly. I had a PlayStation Underground. I loved getting those discs. Like either it was PC or PlayStation, and like getting to play. Like I remember I played. Uh, that's when I played Parappa the Rapper the yep. first time. 
Uh, I think Metal Gear was on one of those, but like a lot of like little puzzle games too. Like, oh man, that yeah, was, that like was Sp Age. Spyro was a big one. Crash games. That's right. They would put the platformers on there as well. Mm -hmm. There you go. Our top ten video games with honorable mentions. Uh, if you guys want to put your top ten uh, list down below, you know, go ahead and do it. I'd like to see. I guarantee, though, I'm gonna look at those lists and there's gonna be like one or two. Yeah. Like, oh fuck! Like, what about this? <laughs> like, oh fuck! Like, like should have been like on doing there. Doing the video, I thought of more of more games that should have been on. Yeah. But. Uh, dude, Apex is the only one. I should have thought of Apex. I don't know why that didn't come to mind, but it just didn't come to mind. So, uh, either way, thank you guys for watching. Follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Reckless Eating. That's where we're on there pretty much uh, daily, except for Mondays. Uh, and thank you, Majestic, for hanging out. We're going to eat some pizza, play some World of Warcraft, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. We're, we're in our 30s, too. Nice. Uh, do you like to stream? Do you uh, sub to the channel, or do you Tom Cruise? Hell yeah, Tom Cruise always. Chris, rare Tom... <laughs>